That's what I'm doing right now, and only because I feel comfortable and confident enough to do that. Look at that, there we go. Now it's looking good. We just finished up one of the best boat weeks ever on our channel, and we're going right into budget plane week. And I cannot believe what we're starting this budget plane week off with. This is the F-16 Thunderbirds. They made it look awesome considering the cost of this airplane. They even have, sort of, the bird on the bottom of the jet. How cool is that? So in order to have a budget plane week, our standards for it are completely ready to fly, which means it comes with everything you need in the box to fly. None of this no battery and no charger included stuff. This is kind of beginner friendly type of content. And the coolest part about when we do a themed week is at the end of the week, we're gonna let you guys know my personal favorite and Abby's personal favorite RC. I think we're starting off extremely strong this week with this Thunderbirds. I love how it looks and the price, guys. The price on all of these are about as cheap as you can find ready to fly halfway decent RC planes. We've been doing so many expensive things on the channel lately. We've had some really nice five, $600 airplanes and jets, and that's not even with the batteries or chargers included. So I know a lot of you guys with a budget kind of mindset, which is totally us too, are feeling forgotten. We'll know that this entire week, it's all for you, especially those of you that like to fly. I can't wait to see how the first budget plane of this week goes, so let's fly. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, it's not good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> too much climb, a little too much climb. I'm easing off on the throttle. And I'm gonna try to bring it back down. Oh, staring straight into that sun. Okay, so I'm just barely cruising and I'm getting a feel for it now. Bear with me here. This breeze is kind of taking over this little jet and oh, a little gust of wind was just enough to knock it over there. Which brings me to tip number one for all beginners. <laughs> don't fly in any wind. That's what I'm doing right now and only because I feel comfortable and confident enough to do that. Look at that, there we go. Now it's looking good. But if you're a beginner pilot, you've never flown before, whether it's a little thing like this or a big expensive thing with so many flight stabilization options, never fly in wind, at least until you've gotten very confident in your own ability and the ability of the thing that you're flying. So here we go. This is pretty good. It does come with well, look out, son. It does come with landing gear, too. <laughs> there it is. It comes with landing gear, too, so if you want to, you can do ground takeoffs and landings. And I think what this jet really has going for it is looks over performance. <laughs> it looks really good. But if you were to compare it to my big, what is it, a $400 F-16 oh, yeah. Thunderbirds, it just doesn't compare. And the reason for that really is because there are no control surfaces on this airplane plane that move. You really just have two independent motors. They go at the same speed to move it forward and then one spins faster than the other to make it turn. However, this does have flight stabilization. So even in this wind at about a third or 30% throttle, that thing is just cruising on its own. So it is staying nice and stable. The downside is uh, the throttle control. When I throttle up, this is what it does. Let me put the nose into the wind and I'll show you what happens when I throttle up. It just wants to climb, okay? So I can maybe fix that with down pushing on the elevator. So what I wanna do to make this fly better and show you guys a quick little tip is land it. Now when it's zero throttle, that's actually gliding really well. So I'm a little bit worried that what I'm going to do is uh, mess that up, but it also might make it fly better. So let's land it right yeah. in the grass, right in the grass. You ready? Not Let's at all. Later. There. <laughs> it's right there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I actually think that helped a lot, but probably just not perfect. So that was full throttle and it didn't climb up so crazy. All I did was just push down on the tail. The, the flat part of the tail, which is the where the elevator normally would be, and uh, just pushed it down a hair so that it wouldn't climb as much. And now I'm at about half throttle, 
and it's flying so much better. So maybe just a touch more down would be perfect, but look at that. There you go. That's not bad. Whew. So on a little thing like this, what you have to do is kind of predict what it's about to do. If you see the nose going up, quickly ease off on the throttle. If you see the nose going down, try to quickly push up on the throttle. Their nose is up, so I'm throttling back some. And as I bank, I'm gonna lose altitude, so I throttle up some just a little bit. You just wanna do tiny, tiny inputs. I'm literally changing that throttle stick from about 25% to 30% to make those adjustments. You don't want to do stuff like this. You don't want to move that throttle stick up and down so much. <laughs> you just watch the nose of that jet and make small adjustments. When the nose starts to climb, back off on the throttle 5 to 10% like I'm doing now. Bank and throttle up a little bit through the bank. We're going to bank left here. Stay away from the building. You just kind of watch the nose of this jet. And as it climbs, ease off on the throttle. As it drops down, maybe you want it to drop down some. Zero throttle right there. Just a little bit of steering. It actually glides. The glide tendency of this jet is really nice. And I have to say, it looks good. Performance though, you know, if you want a true um, RC flying experience, I don't think this would deliver a true RC flying Oops. experience, but it will deliver a budget RC flying experience, you know? With no moving control surfaces, this is kind of what you're gonna get. Again, look at it fly. It's flying good and at no, I mean, I'm just letting it, that's no input at all. Just completely hands-free. It will fly, but it might take some small adjustments and definitely some getting used to. And uh, a little bit of money can go a long way and even look really cool in the air too. Like from a distance, you can't see those two pusher props on the wings and it really does look like a small F-16 Thunderbirds, which is the only reason I picked this up, just so you guys know. I, I did not know if it would fly well or not. I've not watched any videos on it, not even promotional videos. I just saw it on the website and I thought, because I love my big F-16 Thunderbirds so much, I have to have this. So we're kicking off budget plane week with this cool little budget Thunderbirds jet. Okay, it's my turn to fly. Oh, absolutely. Let me uh, let me catch it. <laughs> oh, <nope>. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch. Not bad, not bad. She's climbing. She's climbing. I go to find and I've lost you. I have my no sunglasses. Elevator. Right, right. It is just left and right steering. I've completely lost you because I have sunglasses on. Uh, I can't see the screen at all. You're going to have to bring it in a lot I closer. I know where you are, line of sight. But boy, I can't see you on the camera at all. We're just saying zoomed out. You guys see that tiny, tiny pixel? That is Abby. I should have had. There you go. There she is. Okay, I can track it now. Let's go. There we go. There we go. It just looks so dark with my sunglasses on. Wow. Sorry about that. You guys know Abby's the better camera person by far. Hey, you've taken to this very quickly. I think you were listening to my advice, right? About like watching the nose. Yeah, I mean, it, does, it takes a minute, you know, to get used to it. just like your initial flight, your initial launch. It just took you a minute to get it back down. And figure out the flight tendencies but after that it does a good job that's right i will say oh, i wish there was elevator bad me too just because it looks so cool you yeah. want it to perform even better right right i wish it was more like those little e-shooting planes that yeah last year and yeah, those things are awesome so the good news is this comes with spare props like i said it comes with landing gear so even if you just wanted to protect the jet um you could put the landing gear on and it would protect the foam a little bit more but that is really durable foam you can bounce off of asphalt and it's not going to hurt it. Also, I just now thought about this. The, uh, the landing gear being installed on there might make a big difference in how it flies because it would add weight. So it could actually fly better with the landing gear. Do you want to try that out? I'll take that landing as a yes. Good job. <laughs> I'll let you do it. All right, Nate got fired from the camera duty. <laughs> landing gear is on. I should say that landing gear took me about 10 seconds 10 seconds to install very easy very awesome and a quick little tip here 
you plug the battery in on the jet and get the hatch closed, then you turn the jet on, then you turn your radio on, you go full throttle up and full throttle back down. And that initiates the motors so they can turn. So if you buy this, don't think there's anything wrong with it. There's just a special secret startup process, just like all the drones in the world. Let's go, taking off from the ground. Oh, it did it! Oh my gosh, it did it. That added weight makes me wish I bent the elevator back in place because now I'm at 100% throttle and it is just barely cruising by. <laughs> okay. Not bad, wider turns, heavier jet for sure. So I guess something learned is that with the added weight of that landing gear, come on baby. Ah, oh, I'm out in the grass. I see where oh, it went down. Oh, bummer. Okay, he took the landing gear back off. I guess he decided it flies better without them. Moves up. Well, I like flying it so much more without that landing gear, especially <laughs> because I bent the elevator down some. I could pull it back to normal and it'd probably fly better with the landing gear, but that added a surprising amount of weight. I still think it needs a very small amount of nose weight if I'm flying it like this. So I could like chew a piece of Wrigley's gum and put a quarter of it in the front of it or something just to help, help it so it doesn't nose up as much when I throttle up. I want to try to hit a couple of these shoulder buttons to see if they do anything too. That one does nothing. And that does nothing clicking the sticks do nothing okay so it's very very simple controls very simple airplane you literally have throttle up and down and steering left and right it is as simple as it gets but with the help of that stabilization it does help keep it very level as far as that kind of stuff goes the roll of the airplane but the pitch of it is completely controlled by you and that is the nose up and nose down so if you're completely new you don't want to just pick this up and throttle up to full and just expect it to fly perfectly this plane is one that if it were your first airplane you might even be discouraged from ever getting into the hobby again but if you're patient enough you fly on a very calm day and you listen to what I'm saying and look at the nose of that jet. As it points up, you throttle down. As the nose points down, you throttle up a little bit. You can have a lot of fun with this and it looks really, really good. Having said all that, let's try to bring it in for a fairly smooth landing on the asphalt. Cause I like this thing. It comes with two batteries too, which is really cool. And all this so far that you guys have seen is on one battery. Here we go, right over the runway. Oh, there we go. Oh, now that was perfect. If this were golf, <laughs> I'd have just won. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've flown a ton of airplanes like this. I mean, a ton. I couldn't put a number on it, but maybe close to 100, where they just don't have any movable control surfaces, and they literally just fly with those two spinning motors. You can have zero throttle and still uh, steer the plane, one spins faster than the other if you just give steering input, even at zero throttle. So that's good to know. And I will say that this is probably one of the best performing styles of this plane that I've ever had my hands on. Once you get used to that, just predicting where the nose is and making throttle adjustments, it flies really well. The only time we brought it down was when I was being a little bit goofy bringing it in. The first time I put the landing gear on, which made it too heavy because I made elevator adjustments and uh, that was it so you know for that and in this wind too it did really good i think you just need to use your own judgment if you're going to buy this if you're like me and you like the way it looks and you just want it sitting by your bigger better f-16 thunderbirds go ahead and pick it up you may not even ever fly it but also it does fly pretty well just know where its faults are and i think you'll have a good time going into it it's a really good price, and we have it linked in the description box below. But if you only have enough money to buy one budget RC plane, then you need to subscribe if you're not already, smash the notification bell, and stay tuned in because this is just the first of many more to come this week where we're gonna let you know our personal picks, our best flying, best budget airplane of the week. This is cool. 
for such a great day to get out here and fly and share this budget plane week with you guys. I thank God. Uh, we are just so grateful to be able to jump in front of the camera and fly these things and have a good time and, and share that with you guys through YouTube and all sorts of other places now too. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. We have a YouTube Shorts channel if you're interested. And guess what? I don't think we've made this announcement yet. Maybe we did in the ZD Racing video we did. But we also have a TikTok. So if you guys want to check out some of the goofy stuff, which is very exclusive that we're doing over on TikTok, be sure to go check us out. Again, if that's your thing. I know a lot of you, it might not be. But we're pretty proud because we did hit a thousand followers on there in like a week and a half, which is pretty awesome because we weren't really even trying that hard. So thank you guys for finding us and doing that. That was really cool. Didn't even announce it. <laughs> also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do our channel without you guys. It's so easy for us to be able to point out the faults of things and be so transparent because we have such a massive support system that we don't have to kiss companies' butts and make them love us for saying only good things. That is 100% because of our Patreon supporters and, of course, our morals. But they do go hand in hand, don't they? Now, I know we're just kicking off Budget Plane Week, but what we'll do right now, because this is the first one, is we will link one of our favorite RC budget planes popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.